Hi Libra, it's L here to do your March mid-monthly general reading. The messages will not resonate with every Libra who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, and comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. All right, so let's get going. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. I'll give the cards a quick shuffle, and then we'll get started. What are the messages for Libra? True, accurate messages for Libra and love. We'll do love first. Like a love spread. All right. Ace of Earth, Six of Air, Seven of Air, Chariot. Someone tell me to take the Seven of Water. All right. Um, Okay, so for some of you in the present, Six of Air, you're moving away from this energy in the past, the Seven of Air, deceptive energy. You're moving to a more calm time, more placid, peaceful time. The Ace of Earth in your foundation, nice. This is new business, money. Uh, solidifying relationships, moving in together, moving the relationship forward in any way, business relationships moving forward, maybe due to new partnership and contract and new money coming in. The chariot is here. It's, you'll be victorious in this and moving forward. And, and you've gotten in control of, of everything. You're in control of both the light and the dark, the good and the bad. You've got two, three, seven. This is divinity. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah, this is divine. Divine timing. It's it's meant for you to happen. It's meant for whatever is to happen here. Uh, some of you could be dealing with the cancer directly. If not, it's just that. And what's at the bottom of the deck? Oh, the page of earth. Wow. And then the ace of earth. So the message of stability is here. You may be dealing with a younger earth sign or someone who has earth sign qualities. They're giving you messages of stability, like, you know, for instance, you know, um, we should do this, or we should do that, or I'm going to do this, or I have done that, or uh, I'm going to move us forward in this manner. And then it actually happening, materializing, manifesting here with the Ace of Earth, um, and it all happened in divine timing. Nice. That's a really nice spread. Uh, in the past... You're trying to devise a plan. There might have been some deception there. Maybe with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We're going to do another spread for Libra. Another love spread. What are the messages for love for Libra? Okay, I'm going to tell the shuffle one more time. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages. If they want to come back out, they will. The messages for Libra. Messages for Libra. Love messages for Libra. Looks like that last spread was love and finance, you know. Um, you know, solidifying uh, a bond, solidifying relationships, whether it's in business or love, so pretty good five of earth in the foundation someone feeling lack chariot the present energy moving forward and victory effortlessly getting in control of things you might have felt out of control all right i'm gonna take them ten of water and three of water in the past uh reconciliation dating courting made you absolutely happy the highest level of happiness with the ten of water wow ten of earth uh for the basis this is some real solid energy really good money to solid relationships just complete solid energy here we got two tens here two new starts all right, I'm told to take it. All right, two of fires charting a new path with the ace of air, maybe due to some truth being revealed. 
that gives you victory, the six of fire and recognition. Wow, and then the sun. He'll be dealing with a Leo here, Libra. Or someone with fire in their charts. This is really good in love. It, things are moving toward uh, solidifying and, and, and um, firm foundations. And, and it's blessed by the heavens with the sun. There will be recognition due to truth being revealed with the ace of air. Uh, all of that happening because you decided to actively make the choice to chart a new path. Uh, maybe the old one was not working for you. That's really nice. All right, so let's do career and finance spread for Libra. I've been doing different spreads for all the signs. Um, I did a Celtic cross spread for Aquarius. We kind of free formed it for Gemini, and now we're um, kind of doing the what is that? The circle spread. Uh, I forget the name of the spread for for Libra. You guys have really good energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Libra and career and finance. Career and finance for Libra. Messages of love and light. Messages coming from the God of hosts, the God of above, the Alpha and Omega, the great magician in the sky. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. Eight of fire. Nice. Eight of fire. Things are moving fast. There's lots of rapid communication, back and forth, emails, text messages. For the earth, for the earth, you're holding on, maybe to money, and having patience, temperance, tempering yourself in a certain situation. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. If not. Um, definitely, it looks like you're waiting. Messenger of fire. Then something or someone comes in rather quickly. Fire sign. Uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. They're trying to move something along. Or this is your energy, Libra. Page of fire. Definitely dealing with a fire sign. A message comes in that pushes you to, to act. Nine of water. And there might be some wish realized, manifested, this magician, queen of water. By way of you being very in tune or in touch with, or it could be, have something to do with the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but that's the Cancer card. Wow. And then the Ten of Water. Whatever this is, it brings you, or whomever this is, there's a lot of passion in this relationship. Now, this is supposed to be career and finance. Now, uh, or you could be just dealing with a very intuitive person. It looks like this person manifests some really good energy for you by way of, it might be pinnacles. They may have, they may give you a message of um, business is doing good, uh, promotion. Um, it brings you wish fulfillment. It brings you to being stable in your emotions to where now you're you're at the ultimate the highest level of happiness with the ten of of water you're waiting your emotions are up and down and off kilter because you're waiting for financial news you're waiting for the news to act six of water on the bottom of the deck so it could have something to do with your children family money The hermit, you're in hermit status, waiting once again. The empress and the star, it could have something to do in the, in the three of earth. It could have something to do with um, partnership with maybe an Aquarius or very intuitive, creative, uh, abundant type of person. They can create from nothing. 
Um, they may be in hermit status, not letting you know what's really going on with them. Uh, they could be a person from your past or someone who you deem as a soulmate. It doesn't have to be romantic. It's someone who you deem as a soulmate or one of your children or something to do with children. Um, but they're very creative and abundant. They're, they're trying to manifest something for you. I don't feel like this is your energy. This is something else or something outside of you that brings you some, some real emotional fulfillment here. I'm here and trust the process. All right. Maybe. Okay. All right. Spirituality, inner growth. Spirituality and inner growth. What are the spiritual messages that we have for Libra what should they be concerned with spiritually thank you for the spiritual messages for Libra what should they be concerned with spiritually sorry if that's too loud this is a bare table I am in my place of business all right the moon all right what I immediately heard Libra is that there are things working behind the scenes for you uh, Spirit is working behind the scenes. That's why I heard trust the process and the other spirit. Trust the process. There's some things unrevealed to you. Not You don't need to know just yet. Surrounding someone who you deem is a soulmate, children, or someone from your past, or very um, giving, loving, intuitive person. Six of water. Hangman. Yeah, you're at the hangman status because uh, there's some things working for you on your behalf behind the scenes. Wow. It's going to gonna completely transform your life. Something ends and there's a new beginning that sets you right. The nine of earth. Make, sets you as that abundant person, abundant woman, man, in waiting. Um, monetary gain here. After waiting. An ending of of one cycle of how you make money or how you do or whatever it is. Right, the Empress. It makes you very abundant, whatever this is. I'm here in Matriarch. I don't know what is that about. Some of you, you know, of course, with the six award, you could be mothers here. Something about seven of earth, right? You you're in waiting. You you planted seed, you've made investment somewhere, and you're waiting for the harvest. This is what you should spiritually be concerned with, with the fact that their spirit universe is working behind the scenes for you. Yes, you're waiting. You're in the hangman status. Uh, there will be transformation around. It looks like um, finances and earned income. Maybe this is something you prayed for. This is something someone prayed for for you on your behalf. Okay. Five of air. It doesn't come without reversal and cancellation. And hard work with the eight of earth here. Or, wow, then the wheel of fortune. Nice. It turns in your favor. Or there might be cancellation and reversal in regards to schooling, I'm hearing, in regards to education.
What is this five of air? What is the five of air? What is the five of air? Queen of fire. Could be a fire sign. Something that go in your favor. There was reversal, yeah, and cancellation. You put a lot of work into this. It could have something to do with actual work where you earn your money or something to do with school. You want it to be able to be 100% self-sufficient in whatever this was. Page of water. Could be dealing with a younger fire sign, air sign, water sign, ace of air, eight of fire. What's to happen is what's to happen with the wheel of fortune. That's your karma rolling back around. Some truth is revealed and things move fast. Looks like some good energy with the aid of fire. Um, you could be dealing with a very business-minded entrepreneur type energy. Seven of fire makes you, at times it makes you defensive. Nine of fire, very defensive. After this truth is revealed, I mean, you might just want to chart your own path and go your own route. Take a break from and heal from or have partnership maybe with a Aquarius. Because it'll bring you balance. I'll bring you in from out of the cold. Or maybe, you know, partnership with this Aquarius wasn't much balance and it left you feeling lack. But also, like, listen to your intuition. There's things working behind the scenes that you don't know there might be another if you're dealing with someone in this is relationship there might be another woman there might be an ending to this relationship that makes you single waiting because you did the work on yourself and you use you have some nasty words with this this air sign gemini libra aquarius maybe about maybe this other woman, this empress, and maybe about all the work that you put in. Or they're having words with you about wanting to work on the situation. The Wheel of Fortune is here saying that, um, yeah. Whew, this is crazy. Some of you dealing with a, an Aquarius directly, uh, another fire sign very standoffish in regards to this this person you might just have victory alone you've taken a, a break from this person with the four of air some of you might be a little ill right now you left this person out in the cold all right Let's do some butterfly oracle cards of advice for you. I mean, Libra, it looks pretty good all around. I mean, for the most part, some of you dealing with air signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius directly very standoffish and defensive in dealing with that person some of you dealing with earth signs and fire signs you might be having newness and a 100 percent uh um victory there in, in those relationships and your money looks like it's tied to that relationship your financial gain hobbies this just kept 
falling out of the deck for you off camera. Some of you need to, some of you need to cultivate your hobby more. What I'm trying to say is that some of you need to monetize your hobby. For some of you, whatever you do as a hobby is really good. It could really be another source of income for you. That could be that Ace of Diamond that we were seeing. Um, some of you need to engage in hobbies because you're falling into um, a state of depression or a state of um, just feeling stagnant. I'm, I'm seeing somebody just sitting and waiting and biting their nails and waiting. Like, you can't. We're all waiting for something. We all want something. Um, it's how, it's what you do while in waiting. You know, that's what impatient is. Um, patience is, you know, occupying your time it, by doing whatever. Nothing or doing something. But... Uh, Hobbies, religion and spirituality, gracefully aging, healing from the past. So I did see this. For some of you, some of you need to heal from the past, maybe with a fire sign, Gemini, little Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, gracefully aging. This talks about some of you need to engage in new beauty regimens, um, a visit a mall. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, department store that has um, you know uh, uh, help shoppers or um, beauty consultants gracefully aging is all about what you do to gracefully age you know we can and it's not just about the the outer it's about the inside to take care of your inside and i think that's where religion and spirituality comes in some of you need to find that balance again some of you had it some of you lost it or just kind of moved away from it but religion and spirituality is coming up uh very much so for you you need to um be cognitive of uh, of your own energy and the energy that you bring around you or someone else brings around you um, just to ignore the religion and the spirituality aspect of life and to only um, delve in, in the material and in the physical is uh, is lack. And you'll feel that, and I think some of you are feeling that. So you need to um, gracefully age by way of finding that spirituality, that inner spirituality once again knowing that spirit has you something's working behind the scenes for you but you also need to rely a little bit more on spirit you can't do everything you can't save every body can't save everything hmm healing from the past i think religion and spirituality is going to help you heal from the past also some of you have just kind of pushed the feelings down because that's the life that you have lived thus far by just pushing it down and pushing it away not really working through the energies working through the emotions and actually healing from the past and healing from what happened or what did not happen for you all right so okay well that's it I hope that these messages resonated for you, Libra. Um, if they did, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's all much appreciated. Uh, please comment. Let me know what, what's going on with you guys. I always love to read the comments. I do not respond to all of them, but I definitely see them all. Um, take advantage of the $30, 30-minute 30 reading. Follow me on InstaGo. The, the link is below. All information is below. All information is below. Um, follow me on Instagram. Get a little sneak peek into my very boring life. Um, get a little sneak peek into who I am. Uh, my handles are below. What else? What else? What else? Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'll choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. All right. So you guys take care. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I'll see you in April. All right. And remember, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. All right. Bye, guys.